Hi guys, Joe from Belper Town Vlogs, and just a quick video from me. I'm just going to be previewing the exciting game on Saturday, Notts County away in the FA Cup fourth qualifying round. Just a quick preview for those of you who don't usually come down, but you know want to know a bit about what we're about, how we've uh, how we've got to this stage in the FA Cup, or for those of you who've who've been to every game, just want to bask in the glory. That's fine as well. So uh, I'm just going to be looking back previous rounds, uh, what went what went well, uh, and uh, Looking ahead to Saturday, really, what to expect? I mean, we don't know this season. We have pulled off some very big upsets. It'll be very hard to do it again, but you never know. So, yeah, just looking back at previous rounds, we have, uh, we've had some really good games in the previous rounds, to be fair. We've had two extra time replays, which have been uh, very close affairs. Uh, the Sporting Kelso one, we, uh, we were good one all going to the second half of extra time, but then like, two goals from Nathan Curtis, his first one of the real... First time shot from outside the area into the in the near post, and the second one was were pounced on a mistake between the keeper and the centre back, which you know saw us through. That game was just I think we weren't we weren't amazing in that tie, but I think the fitness levels and just the sheer endeavour got us through that one against a team that were in the league below, but were a pretty decent outfit. And then and the Witten one that was a uh, two rounds later we beat Alf Church in between. Uh, La uh, again, it was a pretty even game where not much happened, but last minute winner from Charlie Dawes did the job really and saw us through against higher level opposition. And obviously, it didn't really offer much going forward, but we did the job on that day. Uh, Wits and Albion, which is probably the most uh, the most tasty of the uh, ties, you know, there's a lot of afters on and off the pitch. Uh, that one, you know, nil nil, our place, and we went there nil nil after 90 minutes, and then. Philip Watt with a deflected header in the first half of extra time saw us through in that game, which I think on balance we did deserve to win. I think we were the better side and a lot of Witten fan, Witt fans, as uh, disappointed as they were, shall we say, uh, did acknowledge that we were the better side in that game. And then Russia Olympic was definitely the biggest game against a team who were not only in the league above but flying in the league above. We, we turned them over as well. We had a good plan where we, we sat back, let them have the ball and, you know, we... Good goal from Alex Peterson early on. Good, good header. I think that that rattled them a bit. I think they were expecting an easier game than they got from us, and uh, they came back into game one all. But then lovely ball from Danny South doors again. The man in the FA Cup finishing it off, and that is why we're here. So uh, that was just a quick round of what what's gone on for those of you who uh, weren't there or haven't seen the vlogs or anything like that. Yeah, and uh, looking ahead to Saturday, I think first of all we've sold uh, over eleven hundred tickets. Uh, at the time of recording this, it should go up between now and the time you watch it. So uh, if you haven't bought a ticket, uh, you might as well might as well try and buy one uh, before before they go out or just turn up on the day. More fans can get the better. We've got the whole Jimmy Serrell stand, so we we'll try and fill it as much as we can. I think this is the first time I've ever been to a belt game where we've had like you know four figures. I mean four figures in total, let alone our own fans, which is you know pretty amazing. It shows the town is being united behind the club and people who haven't turned up for a while are, you know, deciding to come. And it's good for the club as well because, you know, even after the Notts County game, people might start coming a bit more who hadn't come before, which is uh, which is exciting. That'll be good for the club, you know, get a few more 500 attendances like the ones we got against Witten and Russell in the FA Cup. That would be excellent. I think it's going to be you know, a good day out. Uh, we're going to have a lot of fun. It should be on the train and in the pubs around Nottingham. It should be... Uh, should be electric atmosphere, obviously, in the stand at Meadow Lane itself. Should be brilliant. Uh, if everyone behaves themselves, I'm sure they will. Representing the club, uh, got to give the club a good name, you know, be create a good atmosphere, but, you know, behave ourselves. We do that, then we'll, it'll be a very good day out. And on the pitch itself, uh, I think we're going to have the game plan. I think we need to suck them into our game, if I'm honest. I think suck them into playing long ball, because if they try and play it, Beat us by playing around us and uh, stuff like that. They may well break through with the quality of players that they have, being three divisions above and doing well in that division as well in the conference. Uh, and they beat Torquay on Saturday. And they beat uh, Dagenham and Redbridge uh, last Tuesday. So they're they're in good form. They haven't conceded I think five games at home now. So uh, they're gonna be a tough nut to crack, but uh, hopefully we will be able to crack it. And also I think they're gonna be putting out. A strong side. It'll be interesting to see which side they do put out. I'm expecting them to go to take it seriously because obviously what the manager's been saying in the uh, his pre-match that they are going to take us seriously. It's the first time they've ever had to qualify for the FA Cup. So uh, if they don't make the first round proper for a club as big as Notts County, it will be very, 
very embarrassing for them. So I don't think they're going to want that. So uh, they'll be really wanting to make sure they do a job. Their fans will be expecting a win. I think their board will be expecting a win. And I think they will expect one as well. So that creates its own pressure. We need to try and thrive on that if we can. Try and frustrate them. Because the longer they have, they're have, they not winning for, the harder it gets. So we need to try and drag them into that a bit. But it should be... Uh, should be an excellent game, very exciting. I think whatever the result, though, us Belper fans, we're just really happy to be there. I see it in two parts, really. Obviously, the game itself, wanting to pull off another upset, which, although unlikely, is possible. But I think just the atmosphere of the day. It's a great day out. It's a once-in-a-generation thing. I, I've never had this before. And, I mean, I'm only 16, but a lot of people in their 30s have not had this excitement of being a Belper fan, which is, you know... Which is exciting to see. Uh, I really I really hope I enjoy the day. I'm sure I will. Yes, there you go. That's just a quick preview into Not to Count for Town on Saturday. What you're going to expect, how we got there. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you were excited, drop a like. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Let's keep going on the subscriber train that we're on. Uh, if uh, if you're going to Notts County, let me know down in the comments how excited you are on a scale of 1 to 10. What you expect, what do you think the result's going to be? What pub you're going into? what train you're catching, anything really. And uh, yeah, so hopefully I will see you all at Notts County. And in the meantime, enjoy yourselves and I'll talk to you in a while.